I'll be like, hey, <laughs> I won't remember anybody's Spider. name, dude. <laughs> I'm the worst with names. Couple jobs. I remember your, I'll remember your name because I read it. You know? Like I read it, so I'll remember it. It's kind of weird. So you grew up around here? I grew up in uh, St. Pete. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I live in Clearwater now. Clearwater? Belcher and East Bay was the closest intersection of the neighborhood. I'm at like Drew and Coachman. Okay. I just, I rant though. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I oh, ever want to. just where I grew up in high school. I don't know if I ever want to own a house. Fuck that. A lot of responsibility. What's that? I was just kind of talking out loud. I don't know if I ever want to own a house. A lot of responsibility. Land. That's what you want. Like, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't mind buying a little parcel like in Tennessee and a couple shipping containers. Fucking making a, yeah. make, you know, making a little tiny house out of a cabin or something. something shipping yet. containers super cheap, man. Oh, yeah, you know, you could buy, in, you could buy an insulated shipping container for like $4,000. You're practically just paying for the fuel for them to bring it to you. Yeah, pretty much. <sighs> okay, rope. <clears throat> I'm so disappointed that I forgot my thing. I was like, this thing? This is my favorite. It's a little slippy now on this rope, but it's okay. It's like, this is all modified. So this usually isn't here. This pulley thing and this metal thing, it's usually just a, a little orange L, which sucks because when you're tending, you're like, boop, and it just slips off the L. No, no, no. It's just, so this just keeps the rope. So when you tend, you know, when you tend, it, yeah, it just keeps it in, in there, but before, they're coming out with a version two now, so, which is nice. I don't know, I'm top line hitch. And yeah, I mean, fucking dude, everybody got what they're comfortable with. I'm trying to get to that SRT. I went to one of those climbing things up there. Uh, fuck Florida. those climbing things. Buy the things. I mean, Jennifer's. actually, let me take that back. The, don't fuck Jennifer's. those climbing things. But. Jennifer drunk us up there. Well, the guy had an SRT and some new gadgetry and uh, I don't know if you, Joel Phelps. Probably. I don't and know. I clicked on and I was up there and I was like, holy cow, the first clip thing and everything. I'm yeah, you get up there quick. Like, I could send, this thing is so bushy, I don't even want to mess around with throwing my yeah, line in there. You know what I mean? Honestly, I would probably just throw my lanyard around it and walk up to the That's what I'm going to do. My long lanyard. Uh, yeah, I know she was saying that. That's a lot of work, bro. I just got that with 106. And then the next door neighbor, and the next door neighbor, and the next door neighbor threw trees off. 106 pine trees? So a grand total of like 260. That doesn't sound like fun to me. It's, uh, it's an old pine farm, so. Yeah, they're all like in rows and. No, that's not enough room. Usually, ah. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, nothing's tall enough. You don't have enough room. Been a few situations where I've, I've uh, been able to take advantage of speed lining. 
but I span, I'll span rig a lot. Like, so it's like the same concept of speed. So I'll go up and I'll set a rigging point, right? A high one. And then I'll anchor to the end and then, and then suspend stuff in between that span. Oh, I got so it comes straight down in the middle of the triangle. I got you. Yeah. You ever done that? Yeah. Yeah. Burn the rope. Is that still used? Let it run. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can do all that. Stuff. Burn it. So yeah, I've heard that before. From from what I see on this tree, it's not, not going to be. Maybe over here. <sighs> oh fuck. Oh shit! I was just saying, here's a ladder. Um, is it like already out of the truck? Fuck that. No, don't get it, don't. don't worry about it. I just need to make my flip line longer. I'll get to it while you're in that tree, so it's for that How about that? That'll be perfect. This <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're going to be able to get on the roof. It'll be a lot more productive if I send stuff down up there. The Alright, yeah. <laughs> As of now, that's what I'm seeing, you know? It might change while I'm up there. <laughs> Sorry, squirrels. What the fuck now? I was talking to myself. I got hit in the face with a sucker. Ow. That would suck. I am gonna need a rigging rope. Uh, I, if you don't mind, I'll use mine. 
It's in that red bag down there. Um, will you tie that on and that ring that's at the base of the tree? The little rigging ring? Right onto this climb line, sir. Thank you. I don't think we'll need to be on the roof right. as of now. Here, where are you going with that? I can't. I need it to go. On your line, right? Yeah, are you gonna be rigging? Uh, yeah, I need it to go straight line through here. I can't get you well, the. No, I needed to go. I can't give you my rope because I need. He's got to give you my rope. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to give him. To oh, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> I thought you were like, give me your rope, dude. I was like, I can't. Yeah, hey, we'll get it. We'll get it. Just be patient. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. No, you're good. It was just a miscommunication. Oh. Thank you. I'll get down there on the ground. All right, thank you. Like my line. No shock loading this, Trevor. <sighs> kind of defeating the purpose of my long tail here, but okay. Hmm. I'm just gonna stick with my original point, but I will put this here as an insurance plan just in case this wants to fail later. Woo. Hey, that air conditioner has a cage over it. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, um, can you tie my chainsaw on, please? Thank you. Uh, I haven't started it and I haven't put gas in it. Well, let me go Check it first, it might be full. Nope. Thanks, man.
All right, so. Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna come for. My Trevor. See beauty, see beauty. I think this is called cherry wine. This thing sucks. I need a stick. Universal poker, oak tree. Oh, like a piece of bark jammed up in there. Now I'm gonna be smoking bark. <coughs> oh, I'll start it. That's like, I don't know. I don't know what it is about me wanting to start my own saw in the morning. Yeah, I just, yeah. The only time, it's like when, at the end of the day, when I need my 660. I'm like, please, for the love of God, start it. You know, my big saw. Put it, put it right here. Let down line. That's something I don't hear very often. It's pretty great. Good to go? Thank you. You're good. You can let it go. It better be durable enough to pull through a couple of branches, you know what I mean? How are you liking that thing? Uh, I just got it. It it literally does what I need it to do, and that's all I care about. Most of them do. Yeah, that's like, as long as it does what I need to do when I need to do it, I'm happy camper. You can leave it slack. So there's a little thing about me. If I, um, like, it might sound rude, but if I need my rope pulled or anything, I'll let you know. Okay. All right? But ordinarily, I, I get it. You're like, oh, I get it. I totally get it. But, like, pull, like, like, pulling the rigging line back up to me, I don't like that either. Yeah, because, oh, my gosh. If that goes through my rigging system and I got to climb up. If I do pull on it, I leave it very long to where I can reach down here. Yeah, I usually just pull it up myself. I'm just gonna cut a little sucker out of my way. And then I'm gonna rig this piece up. I'm ready on the rope when you are. A lot of friction. I wouldn't say you need a wrap. Oh, hang on one second. All right, you're clear. Pull it tight. A little hinder on the sucker up there, but I'm not worried about it. All right, I'm going to cut it slow. Let it hinge over. Yep. Just hold it tight. No need to let it run. Go ahead. My little redirect broke.
nice. Sorry, there's a lot of friction up here. I'm like a serial apologizer. I'm like a serial apologizer, so. You broke the cage already? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I just mess it around. Oh, it didn't take long. <laughs> the, no, just the cage. Let me see. The rope free? Yeah. All right, thank you. This, this limb up here is hanging just by a little bit. Yep. I'll wait till he clears it though. Yeah, that's a nice machine, dude. It doesn't call in sick. Hey, let go of it. Let go of it. Straighten out your clock. You ready? You good, bro? Yeah. All right, cool. I just dropped faster. It broke off faster than I wanted it to. It's all right. It just came really close to the corner and I, I didn't like it. I pulled it in as it hit over. You did good. Right, I'm gonna I probably. See somebody else tired of running bullet. What, I mean, sometimes I do a clove and a. Sometimes I do a clove. Like if I'm rigging and I can't get two hands on it, I could tie a clove hitch pretty easy with one hand. All right, good. Just gonna cut it by my feet. You ready? Don't stand so close to the quarter wrap. You freak me out, man. I don't want your hand to get stuck. Good job. Yeah, so Yeah, I, dude, I, you probably have more time on it than I do. 
honestly, I have so little time on a Porter app. Here, right here, right here. Now whip it to me. Thank you. Good job. You let it drop, right? Oh yeah. Okay, cool. I don't, if you don't say anything, I'm gonna let gravity take it away from the tree. All right, yeah, that's all on you. Like yeah, one, as long as you know what to do, like, okay. No, I mean, I'm out of danger. If there's a situation where I needed to run, I'll be like, hey, let it run. I need it to go away from me. Let me know otherwise. But like, in, like in this situation, I, I mean, I would just keep the rope tight until it gets over the zone and then let it drop. That way we know we clear the roof. I don't want to mess that gutter up. But like after I cut it, it's your problem. <laughs> That's my favorite. Thank you. Yeah, same thing. Hold it tight, though. Good job. This is a nice system with the, with the machine and the whole limb and the fence down. It's nice, very productive. Hell yeah. I had one. I wanted to start my own business. I bought a ditch witch. I was like, you know, all right. I, so I bought a ditch witch with the, with the implication that I'm gonna put logs on the ground and companies are gonna pay me to load them. Why are they gonna pay me to load them when they got three ground guys there? So, the ground guys end up paying me more than the company owners. Hell yeah. Took me about four hours. That's fucking nice. All right, headache, little sucker. Nope, nope. Oh, I didn't mean to cut that all the way through. All right.
All right, pull it tight. Yeah, let it turn and just hold it tight. It'll clear everything if you don't drop it. I believe. Good job. That would suck. I'd be waiting a lot. Yesterday I did a job and I was waiting more than I was working. It started to get on my nerves towards the end of the day. Same thing, yeah, just hold it tight. I could uncatch it from, oh, you got it, nice work. A little bit of rope friction up there, but I'm not stressing it. I like it because I could drop a couple of thousand pounds into it if I need to. And I have. And I like it because it fits in my hand well. I can grab it, you know? Yeah, I would get a wrap on this. Here, let me get my, my uh, climbing rope out of your way. I'm going to I'm going to feed it up and throw it around the back side of the tree. Give me one second.
Huh? When you get down here, I'm going to have you and Chris help me put the rope in that bucket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That was so silly. Have you ever seen the guys get back to lunch and walk around the truck a dozen times? They walk, they what? They walk around the truck a dozen times because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Lunch really messes stuff up. The weird thing is, is like one of those guys has been doing trees for a couple years. The guy who was actually putting the rope in the bag. I was like, you've been putting a rope in a bag? I guess they just wrap it up. They don't even use bags. So he didn't know. Just hold it tight, okay? Got a spinner. <sighs> I use that term with a good spinner. What? It's usually a good thing. A spin, yeah. <laughs> spinner. It's a good thing until it's not. <laughs> I'm taking this one a little bigger, but it's coming directly to the base of the trunk. It's not swinging out. I redirect it up here. Yeah, you're clear. You can put it through the wrap. You could. You don't have to be near the the device. Just yeah, put. Oh, uh, the rope to get it. Well, it's actually coming my way. Oh, okay. So, well, it might hit me. It's okay, though. You want, you can peel it over. Yeah, that's what, yeah. But the thing is, is the butt's going to be heavy. It might be about even. I'm going to cut it here. Here, come stand back over here. Thank you. I don't mean to sound so bossy. Hell yeah. No. It's weird having a break again. What do you say? I've been trained where the first and most important thing to avoid is the climber. I'll yeah. smash the house when I hit you. The house will be replaced. My climbing line is crossed over the rigging line up there. That was poor planning. That was poor planning. <laughs> that is terrible. I did a little bit of poor planning myself on it. I got to fix that, I think.
I gotta fix my climb line. OSHA probably wouldn't like that. Fucking OSHA. OSHA couldn't even do anything to me if they tried. Cause I'm not like a, I don't have employees. So in order for OSHA to be involved, yep. you gotta have employees. Okay. Uh, oh, don't, yeah, don't, no, don't do anything with the rope, please. Is this my end? No. Oh, okay, that's where I'm fucking up here. All right, let go. Thank you. Um, I want my coffee. I'm gonna come down 10 feet after I settle this. This rope dispute I got going on here. Figure out what I need to do. And then I'll have you toss my coffee if that's feasible. Don't tell anybody I did this. So dangerous. Uh, <gasps> I'm an asshole, YouTube. All right, here. Rope management skills. So my rope management skills suck. All right. Will you uh, will you toss me my coffee cup? You think that's a possibility? I can tie it on for you. Yeah, that'd be great. It doesn't have a it doesn't have a cover on the lid thing. I'm thinking we'll be able to swing like this whole lead over. Here. I could give you a pouch, you could put it in. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. One of my favorite things is drinking coffee in a tree. I love it. Thank you. We're moving along. That's one big lead down or decent size. As much as you might like me to throw the credit at you, and I will, that was smooth, but that machine made a difference. Fuck yeah, dude. No, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm, I still do. Yeah. I was going to say, dude. I was going to say, it looks about brand new. How long you had it? A month. Fuck yeah. This is the fourth <laughs> Are you way less tired at the end of the day? <laughs> you're like going home, you're like, man, I, do I even need to shower? I don't think, I don't even. First thing to come around, then we'll make it where I'm less tired. Yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't make shortcuts on up there. No, it doesn't. Actually, it can. If you utilize its lifting capabilities, it yeah. can. Yeah, well, it it's only 2,000 pounds. 
it, like a yeah, but it doesn't matter. It, you, it, dude, you put. Yeah, you can, dude, you can pull, like, we could stand these leads up. If I had a good 80-foot center tie-in on this, we could stand these leads up and drop them down, bro. I, you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting drunk into this new age, kicking and screaming. So you use a taut line still? Before we leave here, have you ever used a zigzag? No, but I have put a pulley under my top line and attached that to a person quarters on the other side. Nice. Uh, I've done that a few times. I'm... Before we leave here, you should... I got a zigzag in there, man. You should try it. It's... I mean, it, it just one hand slack tending, uh -huh. just like with the pulley, it's just ideal. All right, will you do me one more favor? Will you tie my phone on? It's right there by that 660. Thank you. Thanks, man. Little <clears throat> what do you think about taking this whole thing at one time, swinging it over? Yeah. Okay. Everything you're standing on? Yes. I feel good about it. I just wanted to make sure you do. All right, uh, I'm gonna need you to wrench on this one a bit. Maybe not. Yeah, go ahead, pull it tight. Yeah, I'll do a nice, just let it uh, swing over. I'll do a nice. Yeah. Just hold it tight, okay? No running. Perfecto. <laughs> Good job, fellas.
Nice. That was perfect. Impressive. I might anchor into this. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Keep it going. I'm just gonna anchor into this and then I'll do your span rig. All right, pull the rope tight. So no porter wrap on this. We're spanning it. So you're only getting half of the weight. So half of the weight is here and half of the weight is here, which is you. So this is gonna drop down. And then as you lower, it's gonna center. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do a span rig with this piece. This piece should be able to swing that way. Maybe, I'm not sure. Go ahead, let it. Um, once you get that clip off, just clip it back to the rope. Please. Thank you. Yeah, the stretching out bullshit. Sticks in the chest. Uh. Yeah, as tight as you can. And as I cut, pull as well. I'm gonna help, ready? 
I'm gonna help you get a little pretension. All right. Let me clip in and then I'll be ready to cut. That worked well. I know it's a tight zone for you down there, man. My bad. I'm gonna save this for over here, probably. Come up here and swing this down, swing that down. Oh yeah, baby. Fucking climber. I'm a tree climber. I'm a tree climber. Oh, I'm a tree climber. Look how my foot's bent. That's not good. That's not good. Oh. Oh yeah, tree climber, tree climber. Oh. I'm a tree climber. I'm bubble. And now, back by popular demand, regular rigging. Fucking shout out. You need a strap back? Uh, yeah. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna negative this, rig this one straight down. It's gonna be easier than a swing. You're good, process that. Listen to me, I'm a fucking boss. I'm in charge, he called it, he's right. I'm fucking in charge. I'm a tree climber. Oh yeah. Oh, I gotta change the battery soon. Hi my eyes, do I look stoned? So, so you want to be a tree climber, huh? You want to be a baller, huh? You want to be a shot caller? Shot caller, shot climber. Oh, I'm fucking silly. Oh, I can't find my lighter. I got a pocket full of GoPro batteries, yo. All right, you can pull it tight. It's coming straight down right here. <laughs> it's, it's too great of a swing. No need to let it run or anything. Was that okay for you? Yeah. All right, cool. I might ask that a lot, but I just want to make sure I'm not burning your hands, you know? But usually I know if I burn somebody's hands. I know what you're cutting to. What? All right, yeah. Usually I verify like if I needed to put on the porter app, but sometimes stuff comes down a little faster than I want it to. So I'm just gonna redirect to this little thing here. Thank you. Um, on my rigging line. That way I can get this log out without a huge swing. Oh, <laughs> I was 
put it right here. I'm gonna put this here. It's like a little long, but I don't even give a shit. Ready. I'm gonna cut it by my foot. Oh shit. So that's the thing about SRT, is I could climb all around this tree and touch my rope to anything and it doesn't change the friction. It's, that's what's nice. I could I could set I could just wrap this around 20 times right here and then go out there and this is the same. Yeah, I can see that. Really Dude, it's the best. I don't have to change anything. I just put a little clip, change my direction. It's easy. Hell a lot easier than DR. Fuck yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Whew, man. That was I mean, an inch is as good as a mile. But still. <laughs> so the thing that's the worst about SRT is you is like you have no leverage now you know i got nothing if, if i'm back like this i have to go like this these dudes are doing good on the ground i like the production level oh Back down to where my coffee is. Look here, ladies and gentlemen, we got a nice medium roast with a leaf in it. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Whoa. I just swallowed an entire oak leaf. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm just gonna fall. Can't put it there. Oh, I'll put it on my head with a pouch. I'm not glad. You know what I've determined? If you have a hard time figuring out how to operate that and drag a pile, you haven't physically drug enough brush. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good determination. I get more done in 10 minutes than. Oh yeah, but some people haven't, some people don't. Go check. I think he's all right. Are you having rain or shine come by? Yeah, in the morning. Oh, uh, tomorrow? Morning. Cool. All right. No, fuck that. Maybe, but yeah, that's, that's pressure. All right, it looks like, oh, I need to get that one. A scraggler. Ah, oh, fuck. Tiny little limb. 
this little limb of mine I'm gonna let it fly let it fly look at this look at this little shit okay this little limb of mine I'm gonna let it fly let it fly little tiny little ass limb I'm gonna let it fly Ready, ready. I love it when gravity doesn't resist. Yeah. Yeah, gravity is the strongest thing on this planet. I think. You know, they still don't know how it works. I, yeah, they don't. They don't know exactly what causes it. They have theories, but they don't know for sure. Dude, I'm apolitical as fuck. I don't really know what that means. That's how political I am. <laughs> I just found out the other day. That means I'm not political. I don't follow it. Like. I have to admit, since sports went left field, I find the drama and just watch it as entertainment. Yeah.